There's a reason why your Hyperland setup just gets so much messier over time, but it's not what you think it is. You might think that it's something like just a mere lack of maintenance, but it's actually not that. It goes levels deeper, much, much deeper than you would think. Now, in this video, what I want to do is show you just how deep the rabbit hole goes, whilst still keeping it understandable enough that you don't have to get into the weeds of it, so that you don't have to spend your entire life learning about this one topic so that you can understand why your hyperland setup just gets messier over time. Okay, now, to understand this, we need to understand a topic from physics called entropy, okay? People say that entropy is actually one of the most misunderstood concepts in physics, and that is true to a certain extent, but what I will be doing is giving you a very simple model to understand entropy so that you can use it to understand what exactly is going on when your system, when your hyperplan setup, is just getting messier and messier over time. Okay, now, what is entropy? This word, in a classical thermodynamics definition, okay, basically means a measure of disorder, okay? Now, if you were to actually get into the physical definition of it, okay, it, it means something completely different, okay? Something along the, along the same lines of a measure of disorder, but just in more technical terms. But for, in order for us to understand how to actually go about using this without complicating things too much, a measure of disorder works perfectly fine. So we can say that entropy is a measure of disorder. Great. Now, how are we going to make use of this in order to understand our hyperland setup getting more and more complex and complicated and basically just messier over time? Well, this brings us into the laws of thermodynamics. So we'll keep this over here, okay? We're going to need this, so we'll just keep this here. If entropy is a measure of disorder, we're going to next have to get into the laws of th thermodynamics. Now, the first law of thermodynamics states that the energy, energy of the universe, universe is constant. This means that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. So if you were a science student, then you must have heard of this principle, right? Basically, the energy of the universe is constant, and so whatever energy that we're making use of right now can only be transformed from one form into the other, so whether that be kinetic energy, kinetic energy into heat energy, or electric energy into heat energy, or basically any other form of energy into any other form of energy, right? It's only a transformation of the form of energy that's taking place, and not any creation or destruction of energy itself. So that's what rule number one of thermodynamics says. The energy of the universe is constant. That's great. Now, the second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of the universe, entropy of the universe, tends toward a maximum. Now, what does this mean? The entropy of the universe tends towards a maximum. So this means that the universe tends towards highest entropy. Now, why does that happen? Well, there is a reason behind it, of course, that thermodynamics explains quite well. But the reason why this law exists doesn't matter to us too much. Neither does the reason why the first law also exists. We can just take these as laws that have been already discovered by the scientists before us, and we can just use these to understand what's going on. So if the second law says the entropy of the universe tends towards a maximum, and entropy is a measure of disorder, then that means that the entire universe is tending toward a state of maximum disorder. You can also take a couple of examples that you note in your daily life, okay? If you've noticed, let's say on, what day is it today? Whatever day it is, okay? This is a Sunday. Let's say you clean your room and your entire house on a Sunday. Now, if you don't clean your room again until next Sunday, you're going to notice that your room is going to be pretty messy. Now, why does that happen? That happens because of the entropy of the universe tending towards a maximum. So the disorder of the universe just tends towards a maximum, which means that the disorder in your room, which is a part of the universe, of course, also tends towards that same maximum. Now, there is a way to reverse this entropy, and that is with the application of energy. So, in order to reverse entropy, which is basically reducing disorder, in order to create order, you have to expend energy, which is why whenever you try and clean your room, it takes energy, right? You need physio physiological energy that you get by eating food in order to be able to do stuff like moving your clothes around or putting all the other items that you have probably on your bedside table or on your desk into the right places. That takes energy. So what we're doing here is basically expending energy in order to create order. Now, how does this tie into your hyperland setup getting messier over time? Well, if you think about it, 
Here's a practical example that I've noticed in my daily usage of my Hyperland setup, okay? If I show you my file manager, this is what it looks like right now. Yesterday, I recorded a bunch of videos, and so you see all of those videos over here. Now, this is actually a perfect example for me to show you how Entropy is working in live action, because guess what? I did not expend energy yesterday in order to delete all of these unused files and move them into their appropriate location, and guess what happened? My file system over here, my home folder, got much, much messier because of that. And there's probably other things that I could show you in order to illustrate this, whether it be my organization when it comes to the videos folder or my playground folder. If we go in here, now it's actually pretty organized, but usually if this was my older machine, what would happen is it would be a complete mess. There would be programs in there that I would just, I would just have never used, or there would be repositories that I just forgot to have deleted. All a confirmation of the fact that the entropy of the universe tending toward a maximum, which means disorder being the final state of the universe. And that is why your hyperland setup gets messier over time. So whether it be your file system just getting clogged and cl cluttered up with lots of files that you just forget to delete or don't expend the energy to deal with, or whether it be your waybar just getting messier over time with the addition of new modules and this constant changes of different design languages, okay? Or whether it be any other part of your setup, whether it be your lock screen or your notification daemon, right? Or your logout menu or your terminal or basically anything else. That is why it all happens in the first place. Oh, and if you want to learn how to make a setup like this yourself with this lock screen, this beautiful notification daemon with this absolutely slick animation for it, right? I came up with this animation on my own that along with a custom theme switcher like this one, but basically all I have to do is just choose between a list of fantastic themes that I've compiled, okay? And watch my entire system adapt to it. So if you want something like this for yourself, which by the way, also works no matter what app that I choose. Now here is VS Codium for, an, for example, and let me also show you Discord as you can see here, right? Now, if I switch the theme to something like Tokyo Night, as you can see, it adapts. Every single app adapts to whatever theme that I've currently chosen. So if you want something like this for yourself, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description, and I show you exactly how to make this step by step. In fact, it's better if I just show you. So here, inside of Hyper Accelerator, which is a program, first link in the description, inside of System Reforging, if we just scroll down over here, right? So inside of the theme switchers module, which is a two hour long module, right? I show you exactly how you can configure the different kinds of theme switchers, what they actually are, the wallpaper based theme switching. So basically there are two tools called PyWall and Matigen, and there are other tools as well, like Wallast, which basically extract the colors from your wallpaper and then use those colors in order to theme the rest of the setup that you have. Okay, so I teach you how to configure that. And I also teach you how you can set up this custom theme switching as well. And as a bonus, I've also included my current dot files that you see over here. So in case that you wanted my current setup as a bonus, along with learning how to just make a setup like this yourself, because trust me, I've, I've done exactly what you have. I've downloaded pre-installed dot files, right? Pre-made dot files. I've used Celestia. I've used Quickshell dots. Which one was the really popular one? I have no clue what the name was. I've forgotten. But yeah, I've used N4 dots, ML4W. I've used all of the popular dot files that you would imagine. And... All of them, they worked, but only until a certain point. And I had no clue how any of them actually worked under the hood. So whenever things got messy, whenever things started breaking, I had no clue what to do. And I just ended up reformatting re my drive the entire time, which, which means more wear and tear on my SSD and just wasted time. If you want to skip over all that, if you want to just skip the bad stuff, get straight to the good stuff with custom theme switches like this one and wallpaper theme switches as well. If I wanted to switch the wallpaper, all I have to do is choose from this list and then be able to pick whichever wallpaper I want. So if you want me to teach you how to make something like this and not just copy and paste it, monkey see, monkey do, copy, paste, right? If you don't want that, you want me to teach you, I teach you exactly how to do that in the first link in the description. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, more content where basically I use physics concepts and thermodynamics and chemistry and any single subject that I can possibly think of in order to explain Hyperland and why we use it the way that we do. If you like that kind of stuff, you can leave a like, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time. Stay racing. Mwah.